So you may know our next guest from her years on Chelsea Lately, as well as her roles on Shameless and Mad TV, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and perhaps her hit podcast. But through it all, the hilarious Arden Marine is a tried and true comedian, and you can catch her doing the best of what she does live on stage at the Bethesda Theater tonight. But first, we've been really having a great time having oh, you with us. First of all, I feel like I'm making new pals here. I'm oh, moving yeah. to D.C. now. I love this. This is so fun. Come work at Fox 5 with Honestly, us. Honestly, I would be delighted. I'm having a blast. <laughs> so I don't even know where to start with you because I started reading your book and I read the forward of it. Yes. And I got to know all about your grandparents yes. who married after barely knowing each other. So my grandparents met in Philly and they, uh, 24 hours later, they got, they went to Delaware to get married and because you didn't need a blood test. They got married 24 hours later. They had five kids. And then my parents met in New York City and they were co-workers and they got, this is so bananas. I read the story because I had a lot of questions okay, about it on so a dare. They, so they, they, you got two weeks vacation if you went on a honeymoon. And so one New Year's Eve, they got married on a dare for vacation time and they stayed married till the end. So I'm like the product of two like very hasty decisions. But you didn't find that out about your parents until you were a teenager yeah. when your brother brought his girlfriend home from college. Yes, my brother brought his girlfriend home from college and she was asking my mom, she's like, Janet, how, like, how did you and Willie meet? And she, my mom goes like, oh, it was silly. And then I was like, I knew they worked together, but I didn't know that it was, they were an odd duo, but like I didn't know that it was literally a dare. And so my dad, the dare was that they were going to get married. They were going to get like two extra weeks of vacation time. So it was going to be like a month. My dad was like, I'll take us down to like South America for a month. Ooh, we can come cool. back and get it annulled. And then my mom called his bluff and she's like, I'll do it, but I don't want to get it annulled. And she borrowed my, her friend, my namesake Arden, she borrowed Arden's wedding dress, like her best friend. My grandparents never knew. They met him as my mom's fiance, and they stayed married forever. That's amazing. Isn't that wild? Like it's a supernatural marriage, and those are coming back in style. A lot of people are meeting and getting married, you know, quick turnovers, and they last, you know, mm -hmm. so it's good. Supernatural. I Supernatural. like that. I like the phrasing of that. Supernatural. So marriages. growing up in a non-traditional yeah. home, as you describe it, and being funny and having these big dreams, for everybody watching who has these big aspirations, yeah. how did you get the courage to kind of leave your small town, yep. leave your family, yeah. and just kind of go do it and look at you now? Well, I was appreciated. My parents moved to this tiny town in Rhode Island called Little mm -hmm. Compton, and um, I think the gift of growing up in a town, I was aware of the larger world, but mm -hmm. she, my mom was like, build your own boat, like mm -hmm. make your own stuff. And I think now with, there's my cover, her little mess. I love it, I love it, it's so cute. Um, I think the gift of, she actually encouraged me not to try to go to theater school. She was like, they're not gonna get what you do, mm -hmm. but you need to get the chop. So I would like write plays, put on plays. I think now with like YouTube or Instagram, just start making stuff. Or if you wanna do stand up or improv, like, Find a coffee shop and like see if you can do a monthly comedy show. Like just start making stuff. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. And you know, I remember two things. My mom always said, "Don't give them what they want. Make them want what you got." Mm, so like that's get the good. best version of like what do you do that's unique to yourself? That's the best version of yourself. And so like I just tried to be the like I started writing plays. I started doing improv. But it's like what is unique to me? And then the other thing was like. If you have to have a day job, like, there's no shame in the game of a day job, like, so that you're not demanding your dreams, you know, like. Mm -hmm. You're like, letting them flow to you. Yeah, then. yeah. So you can go with a light touch, and it's like, you don't need it to be okay. So here's the thing. Speaking of being unique, the, yeah. how did you fall in love with The Bachelor? Because you have this super <laughs> successful I podcast. I was, I was like, huh. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I had actually only seen one season of it. I remember people were like, are you watching The Bachelor? I was like, I have a life. Absolutely not. <laughs> Turns out, I do not. I like <laughs> I watched it and I found myself, it was Caitlin Bristow's season and she was so adorable and um, I saw my funny friends were tweeting about yeah. it and I thought of it sort of like a game of like I found that I was really rooting for people, I found it compelling and so I, I only started the podcast again just for the fun of talking about it with my funny friends. Right. Yeah. So we treat it like a sporting event so it's like basically like who's going to make it to the World Series of The Bachelor, <laughs> like who's going to hometown, who's going, so we, we have our fantasy draft picks. That's what I was going to say, you have fantasy we football have, but we fantasy, do, we bachelor. Fantasy, <laughs> fantasy Bachelor. We do fantasy Bachelor, we try to figure out who's going to be the villain, who's there for the wrong reasons and but it's created a whole community of people that it's, yes, it's almost like the structure of, do you want to come play with my Barbies? Like, let's, oh, like, yeah. I like that. So, like, we talk about The Bachelor, but then 
you get to know other people. It's, it's like a play so world. Much. It's a play world. It's something. There's the only point of entry is to have watched an episode and tell me what you think. But we don't trash it. We make we, jokes about it. But like we we're rooting for. They are wrapping me up, and I'm sad because yeah. I'm not done talking with you. But we're gonna put the information on great. the screen for where everyone can see you tonight at the Bethesda Theater because you're just such great energy, oh, so yes. funny, so fun. Thank everybody. Come out. It's really fun. My friend says I'm like Kitty that got into the champagne bottle, and Kitty wants to play. So come say hi. Woo. Yes, like let's fun. do it. Thank you for your time this morning. You're a delight. You're both lovely. Okay.